The AirPods Pro are probably my favorite headset. They're easy to carry, they sound pretty good, the noise canceling is fairly decent, and most of all, they work with all my Apple products seamlessly. I don't really have to think about connecting Bluetooth or anything like that. I just flip them open. Uh, if I want to switch to my MacBook, I just tell it in my Bluetooth settings, connect to my AirPods. Really seamless system, and it's been awesome, except for the sound quality. Now, most of you know, uh, in recent firmware updates, Apple has changed the noise canceling, and I'm not sure if this is because their complaint or they caught our complaints about the bass. Uh, I've personally felt that the original AirPods uh, had a better bass to them than, say, the AirPods Pro. Uh, my AirPods Pro are in a case, they're actually in my ear right now, as you can see there. Now, fortunately, there's a firmware update. Unfortunately, you can't just install the firmware update and give it a try. And most people have been wondering, did Apple actually address this issue with the noise canceling and have they improved the sound quality? Does it go back to the original firmware? I have to say, I, I purchased these a week after they launched and they sounded great. I didn't really notice uh, the difference in firmware until somebody mentioned it and I was like, started cycling through, listened to some heavy bass songs, and I'm like, yeah, the noise cancellation isn't as good as it used to be. So in this video, I'm gonna attempt, attempt to update my AirPod Pros to the latest firmware. Most people don't know how to do this, including myself. Apple gives no documentation, no guide to update your AirPods, but I have a few theories, and that's the reason for this video. So if you end up seeing this video, my theories worked. Now, just for the record, uh, these AirPods are currently on, uh, what am I on? The 2C54. So I actually got the firmware update that nobody wanted that Apple ended up pulling. A lot of you are probably on 2B588, and we're looking for 2D15. So let's first take a look at how you can figure out what your AirPods are running, and then let's see if we can actually force the update. Now I have a couple theories on how you can upgrade your AirPod firmware to the latest. Uh, mostly just introducing an environment where the AirPods will think, okay, it's time for me to do any updates. And what I mean by that would be connecting it to a power source, making sure that your device is nearby and recognized by the AirPods, kind of giving it that perfect environment so that it can actually perform the upgrade. Not sure why many people haven't thought of this. I'm pretty sure this is how the AirPods update. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna pull the AirPods out of my ears. So they're still connected to my iPhone. Here are my AirPods right here. And as you can see here, we're still running the 2C54. We'll plop these in the case. And then we'll just jump back and we'll jump ahead again just to see which firmware. And so they're still running the 2C54. Now you have an option, you can use the lightning connector or wireless. I'm just gonna try wireless just for fun. So the AirPods are still connected to the device. You can see here, if I open them, close them, they're in close proximity. Now, if we put these on the charger, while still being fair proximity to the device and they connect, and now we'll even supply our device with power. I have no idea if this is necessary. Like I said, we're kind of taking shots in the dark here. And now we wait. I'm gonna give it about three to five minutes. I'm not going to bore you guys by keeping the camera running during that time. We're gonna jump back here. We're gonna see that the AirPods remain connected even though they're charging. This is what I was hoping for. This is uh, what I think is required to initiate the update. So we'll see. I know firmware updates can usually take a little bit of time. This may take five, 10, 15 minutes, I'm not sure. I wish Apple would provide more documentation on this. If you're listening, Apple, please provide some documentation on this. So here we go, guys. We're gonna give this a good five minutes. It's 9.27 right now. We'll come back at 9.35 or so and see, have they updated? Just a very quick update. We're about three minutes into the test and the AirPods had disappeared on my device. I left my screen time out to five minutes, so this shouldn't affect the menu, I didn't leave the menu, the about menu, and then come back in, so they just disappeared. 
perhaps maybe this is the update. Okay, so we're actually a couple minutes over what I had originally wanted to wait, uh, just because I was making some coffee. Let's see if my AirPods have updated. Now, I kept my device alive and awake the entire time, charging, and I was charging the AirPods the entire time. The AirPods did disappear from the menu, like I pointed out. Let's open them up and trigger them so the device picks them back up. So as you can see here, my AirPods are now recognized. We'll leave them open, we'll dismiss this, and then we'll go into AirPods. And there we go. So we've updated our AirPods now to the latest firmware. So this is how you guys can update your AirPods firmware. I know a lot of people have been wondering how to do this, and I had my suspicions on how this worked, but this just proves it here, guys. As you can see, my AirPods are now running the latest firmware. There's nothing more to say or do but give them an audio test. Let's see if I can personally notice the difference. I did listen to some music, uh, some songs before I started doing this, just as a comparison. Now I'm not an audio geek and I would definitely recommend you guys look elsewhere for a better uh, opinion on if they sound good or not, but let's see as a novice if I can notice the difference. Now, unfortunately there's no way for me to record samples of audio and play them back for you. I just don't have the equipment to gather that kind of information for you guys so you really just have to take it on my first impressions uh, I'll do my best like I said I'm not the best at judging audio but will I notice a difference in this firmware I think that's what everybody wants to know and how to update your airpods this is the first video on how to update your airpods pretty cool so we've got the airpods here I've got my device let's plop them in Okay, so they're in normal mode right now. I'm just gonna change the modes here. Wow. They've done something to noise cancellation. My voice sounds muffled. The server sitting next to me here, which is quite loud, is a rumble. Although I feel like before it took it away. It almost sounds like I'm on an airplane. Now this is just because of the fans running in the server, but let's go to transparent mode. Sorry, that was transparent mode. This is noise cancellation. Wow. There's more pressure in my ears for sure. The server's gone. My voice sounds more natural, but with no bass. Let's turn on some music. Let's play some music that I was playing before here, so let's check this out. I'm actually quite excited for this. I hope I get the original AirPodic Pro experience that I had before. Okay, pause. Whoa. That noise cancellation is crazy. I gotta turn transparent mode just to talk. Wow. Alright. I'm not an audio engineer, but Apple hired some. <laughs> Back to my original thought on the AirPods. 
the bass isn't as heavy as, say, the originals, but, man, those mids and those highs cranked fully, it's almost too much. Amazing. I personally feel like there was a big difference. Do I like it? I guess it depends on how you like your music. Sorry, I have to catch myself here for a moment. That was an experience. Going from one to the other, there is definitely... I don't know if people are going to say it's an improvement. Like I said, again, I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know. So, I mean, you don't have a choice to update your AirPods. You're going to get this update whether you want it or not. I'm pretty happy with the results. I feel like they're way louder. I wish I could have put that through the speakers so that you guys could have picked that up, but holy cow. Wow. There's definitely a difference in my voice, the way it sounds to me, with and without the AirPods. All right, well, did you guys do the right thing, Apple? Uh, you're gonna have to ask an audio engineer. Personally, I'm pretty happy with that update just on the half a song and then skip to another half a song. I chose something that was hip hoppy and bassy and then something that was screaming loud. Uh, both of them to me definitely sounded different. I don't know if that's better or worse. I guess that's a personal preference thing when it comes to audio. It's one of those touch and go things. I just am not fluent enough in it to know what is appropriate and what isn't. Uh, but I gotta say, just initial impressions, I'm pretty happy with that experience. And I'm also happy to know how to update your AirPods. So all these uh, tech companies putting out their articles saying there is no way to update your AirPods. Well, I just did it on video. Cheers, bros. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video guys, this is just a really quick thrown together video, I didn't put that much effort into it, but I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helps you out and you get your AirPods updated. I'm sure 90% of you will get your AirPods updated automatically without even having to uh, worry about it, so don't think about it, but man, good on you guys Apple, you did make a difference in these AirPods and they are definitely still my favorite. They were my favorite starting into this video and I think I like them more. I gotta go for a walk now, maybe go down to the beach, go down to the ocean, and just pop them in and crank them up and go through different genres of music. I, I've got a wide variety of genre of music that I actually like. I'm not really partial to one or another. Uh, that's the beauty of getting old. You don't really care what people think what you listen to. I'll listen to Nelly, whatever. I grew up with it. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you like this video, if you didn't like this video, make sure you dislike this video, make sure you comment below why you didn't like it, why you did like it, and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribing to this channel encourages me to make more content, without the subscriptions, I'm not motivated. We'll see you guys again next time, take care.